Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up to the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. This wedding dress to fit just so. If you ask me, it fits like the skin on an onion now. <laughs> Did anybody ask you? No. Well, then mind your pins. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I'm afraid my eyes ain't what they used to be for clothes work. We better step over to Dorothy Palmer for the fine fitting. See you later, Granny Ellie Mae. Where do you think you're going? I went fishing with Harold Leslie. Your future son-in-law is fetching his family over here to meet us. And you're going fishing? Oh, I'll be back in plenty of time. He said he couldn't get here till the middle of the afternoon. You run along, honey. I'll be with you in a minute. See you soon, Gail. Jed, we have got to put on the dog for the groom's family. And you show up looking like a sharecropper and smelling like a catfish. <laughs> they might want to call the wedding off. Oh, they couldn't do that, could they? Not really. They might want to. But I've got that room nailed down like an oak plank. <laughs> we were sitting right there at that table when he said to me... I'd be proud and honored to be the man who marries her. <laughs> I think you got him nailed down, Granny. <laughs> I'll be over to Dorothy Palmer's help him with Ellie's wedding dress, Shorty. Oh. Well, here we are, son. Here we are where? <laughs> what is this? No way, USA? <laughs> There's supposed to be a fair going on. Hundreds of yokels with their pockets bulging. I gotta hustle enough scratch to get back to the big town. Hey, New York, New York. No, sir, this ain't New York. I'm <laughs> joking. It's you over down the city. My son runs a hotel yonder. Shorty Kellums. Oh, where are the people, my friend? I mean, the suckers, the rubes. What happened to the fair? Hey, the fair. Silver Dollar City Fair. Yeah, Bud Tussle, too, in Branson, and Blue Eyes, fair all around here. But it's raining in Eureka Springs. <laughs> Thanks for the weather report. <laughs> now, what am I going to do? I got to turn a fast buck. But I can't hear. <laughs> I got the same trouble. Can't hear too good myself. <laughs> Never would have known. <laughs> Can you take me back to the train? No, nah, no rain here, just in Eureka Springs. <laughs> the freight train I got off. Uh, never mind. Where are you going now? Home to my farm. Got to hitch a plow to old Betsy and work to South 40. <laughs> well, take it easy. That's a lot of work for one horse. <laughs> Betsy's my wife. <laughs> Get up, Chester! Get up. Well, the price is right. If I had the 50 cents. <laughs> Innkeeper! Innkeeper! Here, <laughs> yeah, let's have some service! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you woke me up out of a sound sleep. Fine. Now, if you just managed to wake the rest of the town. <laughs> My name is Schaefer. I'm John Schaefer. Perhaps you've heard of me, president of Schaefer Enterprises Incorporated. My car. Now, I want one of your finest rooms. Southern exposure. King size bed, orthopedic mattress, walk in closet, let me see, uh, television. Never mention television? Yes. <laughs> television set, large color, bath, tub, and shower, and sun lamp, of course. Why are we standing here? Front. Why? <laughs> now, after I've rested, send the waiter up with a wine list and menu. There is that boy. <laughs> ah! Here you are, son. Now, I want you to take my luggage up to the presidential suite. Hey, yeah, that is a nice gesture, employing Boy Scout. <laughs> now, I know you're not supposed to accept tips, my son, but at the end of my stay, I'll speak to your troop leader and recommend you for a merit badge. <laughs> now, you remind me. She ain't a Boy Scout. She's a girl. Oh, Carson. At the end of my stay here, I'll buy a box of your cookies. I am not a Girl Scout. This happens to be the uniform of a bird watcher. Oh, excellent. Remind me to buy some eggs from her. I do not sell eggs. I am a secretary, sir. I told you, mister, I don't have any empty room. I don't believe you heard the name correctly. Schaefer. The New York Schaefer. Well, that name opens doors at the Ritz in Paris, the Dorchester in London, the Palazzo in Rome. Apparently, you come from a family of doormen. <laughs> Pardon me! Tell me, my dear, are you open for a secretarial position? I may be. Take it. Press the luggage. Don't just stand there. Move it. Move it. The luggage! Mister. I told you I ain't got no vacancy. Well, then eject someone. Create a vacancy for the new owner. Who's oh, that? Yours truly. I purchased the hotel this morning. That's funny. I don't remember selling it. <laughs> oh, oh, it belongs to you, does it? <laughs> yes, sir. I had you confused with the Fountain Loom, which we bought this morning in Miami. I buy so many hotels. Well, we'll close the deal after I've rested and properly you've advised the luggage there. Move it! Move! Oh. Hey, you know something, Shorty? Pretty girls are scarce as hen's teeth in Bug Tussle. I've been waiting in front of that general store for a good look, 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 my anemic friend, suppose you take up your romantic problems with dear Abby. Right now, we're discussing business. Bird lady. The luggage. Upstairs, the slide. See here, you New York loudmouth. Hey, mister, is you from New York? Yes. Now, about my accommodation. I always wanted to meet somebody from New York. Oh, now I'm shaking wait, his hand. Wait, wait, the hands are crushing it. Can you are a New Yorker from New York City? Golly! <laughs> How do you make it let go? <laughs> In crawl! Thank you, you're hurting the city fellers' hands. Oh, gee, I'm so sorry. I always wanted to go to New York. Hey, tell me about it. Later, later, lad. Is it really as big as they say? Oh. Them skyscrapers oh. real big? Why don't you wait in the woods? <laughs> now, Sparrow Girl. I like it. Get it yourself. I have seen some noisy birds, but none to compare with the vulgar throated, brown tufted Manhattan four footer. <laughs> Touchy little thing. Hey, mister, I'll tote your bags up to your room for you. Hold on, Jethro. I ain't got no empty room for this fella. You don't by any chance happen to have a larger bird's nest, preferably one with running water. Hey, mister, but you can stay in my room. You don't mind sleeping twixt Uncle Jed and me. Six what and whom? Uh, Uncle Jed and me. I'll even sleep in the attic if you'll take me to New York with you. Nah, well, forget it, kid. Hey, but Mr. New York's where I belong. I'm a big city fellow at heart. Sure you are. Look, kid, go play with the frog, huh? <laughs> hey, but mister, I'm not like the rest of my family. They's a bunch of hicks and roots. I'm smart. I got a sixth grade education. Well, remind me to send you a fountain pen. Now blow, will you, kid? Hey, but wait. What is it? What, 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 what? You won't even have to pay my way to New York. My Uncle Jed's got $85 million. That's fine. Well, I'll send up a flare. <laughs> Doggone it. <laughs> what was that you just said? Doggone it. Oh, ahead of that. You don't have to pay my way. Between that and doggone. <laughs> my Uncle Jed's got $85 million. <laughs> Glad to see you. <laughs> this boy on the level. I mean, this isn't the Silver Dollar City funny farm, is it? Oh, no. His Uncle Jed has got more millions than you can shake a stick at. The 
luggage to the room, boy. Then up a menu and a large stick. Ah, tell me more about your family. Well, besides Uncle Jed, there's Granny and Ellie. Ah, beautiful people, I'm sure. Hey, are you going to take me to New York with you? I intend to take the entire family. Hot <laughs> diggity dog! Hot huh? diggity dog! Just think of that. Did you came up with that? I'm thinking he know this kid's a natural rack under that. Funny, look, you must teach me more of those funny expressions. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Then, dear boy, how do I find the lake where your Uncle Jed is fishing? Oh, you just go down there to the corner and turn to the right. That's all the direction I need? Well, yeah. And then when your feet commence to get wet, you done reach the lake. <laughs> now, how will I recognize your uncle? Oh, that's easy. He'll be sitting in a boat with Harold Ensley. Okay. How will I recognize him? You can't miss him. He's the only other fellow in the boat. <laughs> that's all. Are you sure you graduated the sixth grade? <laughs> Oh, Granny, tell him, mate, this here's Mr. Schaefer, out of New York. How'd you do, Dean? Out of there. Ah, congratulations, my dear. I'm sure you'll make a lovely bride. Oh, I, I ain't the bride. It's her. Oh, I see it's your sister who's getting married. Tell me, are you older or younger than this lovely girl? Girl? Oh, why, I must be seven, uh, uh six, uh, fifth, uh, Oh, I'm pert near 40. 40? <laughs> Mind your own business, boy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Schaefer. Uh, come on, sis. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Schaefer. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Enchanté. <laughs> Mr. Clampett! Jed Clampett! Who's that calling you, Jed? It sure ain't a bass. They don't know me today. <laughs> Mr. Clampett! I want to talk to you. There he goes again. Maybe we better drift in and see what he wants. Oh, Shorty, if you thought Ellie was pretty this morning, you should have seen her after Dorothy Palmer took a few tucks in her wedding dress. <laughs> Dying to her, did it, Granny? Oh, like she was pouring into it. <laughs> you know... I'd give that Matt you a run for his money if I was a few years younger and a few feet taller. Howdy, Granny. Shorty. Howdy, Matthew. Make a few feet wider, too. My, you look nice, son. Where's your family? They'll be along pretty soon. The children were visiting their grandmother, so I left a note for my wife to bring them later. You're who? My wife. Did he say his wife? Did you say your wife? Yes, he did. Matthew, didn't you say in this very hotel and on that very same spot that you would be proud to marry my granddaughter, Ellie Mae Clampett? Yes, ma'am. Did he say yes, ma'am? Did you say yes, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you said yes, ma'am. Then how in blue blazes can you marry Ellie Mae when you've done got a wife and kids? I marry people all the time. I thought you knew. I'm a preacher. <laughs> Granny? Shorty, did he say? Did you? I did. He did, Granny. Oh, Shorty, I wish you was a few years younger and a few feet taller and a few feet wider. So that I could marry Ellie? No, so you could throw this person out of the window. <laughs> Want to hear something funny? A city fella come down to the lake and talk to me. He wants us all to move to New York. Let's go. That's what I told him. I said, Granny would never... What did you say? I said, let's go. What about Ellie's wedding? It's off. Matthew's done married. Married? Why, he said... I know what he said. He marries people all the time. He's a preacher. Preacher? <laughs> Well, if that don't beat all. Well, it won't beat El Vernon. Jed, let's get away from here as far as we can and as quick as we can. But, Granny. Oh, here you are, my friends. Oh, I just heard you distressing the news, but don't you worry, lovely lady. Another young man will ask for your hand. 
Oh, I done told you I ain't the bride. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Mr. Clambert, with your permission, I would like to track this would-be groom to his lair and thrash him within an inch of his life. <laughs> oh, no. I say, let bygones be bygones. Thank gosh, what a wise bit of philosophy. What homespun humanitarianism. New York will appreciate a man of your wisdom and understanding. Well, we ain't decided to go. Tell me, Mr. Schaefer. Uh, please, friends, call me by the name I am known the country over. Honest John. Tell me, Honest John. Is there a lot of nice young single fellas in New York that Ellie could meet? Dear lady, the streets of New York abound with single men searching for wives. And so honest and forthright are these swains that they wear hats to indicate their eligibility. <laughs> Consequently, the Indians named the city, City of Man with Hat On, which has typically been shortened to Manhattan. <laughs> That's the town for us. <laughs> Granny, I hear tell New York is nothing but uh, cement and tall buildings. We kind of cotton to the open country. Well, it just so happens that right in the middle of Manhattan, there is a paradise of open fields, meadows, trees, brooks, and lakes known as Central Park. <laughs> and I'm willing to sell it to you at a sacrifice. <laughs> it belongs to you, doesn't it? Left to me by my late lamented uncle, Sam Central. <laughs> Bless by it, Jen. We can live there. Ellie can get a husband, and we can raise some taters and corn, and run a few cows and hogs and goats. <laughs> Very fulfillment of my uncle's dream. He took it to his grave. Unfortunately, I am not a man of the soil myself. Well, Jen and me will farm it, won't we, Jen? Oh, I reckon it wouldn't do any harm to look at it. <sighs> we can be on a plane within the hour. Well, just give me time to tell Ellie May and Jethro to get packed. They's packed, and so am I. I reckon I'd best get busy. You're packed, too. Let's go. <laughs> All right, come. Come on, Mr. Jacob. Mm -hmm. Honest John. Honest John. <laughs> if you look out the windows, you will see the magnificent city of New York spread out below you. And that beautiful parcel of green trees and fields and lakes in the middle is the choice parcel of real estate which I'm willing to sell to you at such a sacrifice, Central Park. <laughs> well, no, he's, he's just as pretty as you said it was, Mr. Schaefer. Yeah, yeah. Honest John. Hey, that was left to you by your uncle, Honest John? Yes, yes, dear lady, by uncle on my mother's side. The late, great... Sam Central. <laughs> Looks like none of it's been plowed or planted. Burn your land, Mr. Clamper. The waiting only to touch is someone like yourself, a man of the soil. Sure will be good to work some land again. They wouldn't let us do no farming in Beverly Hills. Fools, short-sighted bureaucrats. Don't they realize that digging in the good earth and bringing forth the sustenance therefrom nourishes not only the body, but the mind and soul as well? You know, you've got a fine way with words. Thank you. You ever thought of being a man of the cloth? Frankly, no. I had a cousin who was a tailor, but it never appealed to me. See ya. Mr. Schaefer. That's lovely child. Say any critters in Central Park? Oh, there are critters. <laughs> you know, wild varmints like possums and raccoons and foxes. Oh, no, no. Nothing like that, my dear. Nothing wild to frighten you. But I like them. Oh, yes. Oh, there's plenty of those. But they're not wild. They're tame. Oh, good. You ain't forgetting what you said. There's lots of young single fellas in New York looking for a bride. Have no fear. With your beauty and charm, you'll have proposals by the dozen. I told you, I ain't the one looking for a husband. It's my granddaughter. Oh, forgive me, my dear. My mind refuses to accept the fact that you're a grandmother. But my eyes tell me that you're a seductive love goddess. Oh, come on now. Let's hear the truth. Hey, you're a Dietrich, a Lamar, a Gobbo. Oh, you don't have to get mean about it. <laughs> I was complimenting you, my dear. Can I see you for a minute, Mr. Schaefer? Yeah, I'm here. Do you know any girls in New York? No, oodles of them. Any coarse girls? 
some of the courses. Excuse me, we'll be landing shortly. Will you see that the young man fastens his seatbelt? Oh, an excellent idea. Have you any other restraining devices? Pardon? Come on, it, nice. Just check the rest of the water. <laughs> oh, boy, what a rotten ride. What do they call you, a jackass? Thanks to you, I'm going to be the only passenger flying to Beverly Hills standing up. <laughs> Well, Shorty, it almost killed me, and it cost me $50,000, but I bought the bank a bug tussle. And now when the Clampers deposit their money, I've got it. Well, good for you. You own any banks in New York? No. Oh, I. So is that where they're headed for? New York? <laughs> the Clampers? Yeah, city fella sold him a place called Central Park, and there's only way to see it. Your secretary left a message here for you. She's out bird watching. <laughs> Mr. Drysdale, where could he be? Mr. Poor <laughs> fella. Guess he ain't used to riding a jackass. <laughs> Black hat, black boots, black belt. Bad news for the bad guys. Walker, Texas Ranger. Weeknights at 6 on the Hallmark Channel. A crime of passion. A random clue. A new detective. Kelly Martin is a mystery woman. A bookstore owner who reads between the lines. The Hallmark Channel mystery movie. Mystery Woman. Friday night at 9. Yeah. This has been a film-waste presentation.